Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the latest high-profile Democrat to throw her support behind Vice President Kamala Harris for the Democratic presidential nomination. It follows President Biden's momentous decision yesterday. Nicole Skanga reports on today's fallout after weeks of pressure ever since the president's disastrous debate performance. Vice President Kamala Harris Greetings, paid everyone. tribute to Greetings, President everyone. Biden in her first public appearance since his momentous decision not to seek re-election and Harris's subsequent decision to enter the race. Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched. In a letter posted online, he wrote, it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. Shortly after, the president endorsed Harris and a growing list of Democrats followed suit. She has been a strong leader on the national stage. Um, she is someone that's going to be a unique um, candidate when she goes up against Donald Trump. Harris can't officially become the nominee until more than 4,600 Democratic National Convention delegates have their say. An open convention is still possible next month if there are challengers. There's no coronation. There's going to be a process. But look, part of the process is getting endorsements, getting the delegates. Republican Senator Ted Cruz of Texas said it was no coincidence Biden waited until right after the Republican National Convention to step aside. The Democrats timed this announcement to try to counteract any bounce that comes out of the convention. Harris's campaign says it took in nearly $50 million from grassroots supporters Sunday. That's the biggest fundraising total for any candidate this year. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Washington. Now, as for the nomination process here in Arkansas, Democratic Party leaders are set to meet in a few minutes. They'll have a statewide conference call. And the leaders in the delegation that are set to travel to the Democratic National Convention will try and reach a consensus over supporting Vice President Harris or any challengers for the nomination.